Yata Shaim Raya So Yanishia, the Magana Nishla, Nake the Neto Hadlini Bashishin. I'm a senior here at Scripps, class of 2014. I currently serve as president of the Indigenous Student Alliance, and last night we had our opening event called Decolonizing Education through Native American and Indigenous Studies. This event came out of a collective vision of both ISA members and allies. Um, and we hope that it will be the beginning of a long and successful um, effort to start a Native American Indigenous Studies program here and also continue to build the relationships with the local communities around here. When you talk about settler colonialism and those structures, which I actually don't think we have a lot of spaces on campus to talk about those structures and how we might benefit from those or might be unknowingly complicit in those structures. Um, so there is a need to be able to have those kinds of conversations, especially if we're at a liberal arts college that prides itself in being able to think critically about the world. We would all like to acknowledge the Tongva land that we stand on and recognize everyone in our community who have supported us and keep, kept us rooted in the work that we do. There is a different vision that comes with, with coming from those tribal communities for instance. Like I never saw, I never grew up thinking of the United States as permanent. What about if it wasn't a given that the United States was legitimate at first, and, and second that it was a given, right? And I don't mean this in any anti-patriotic sort of way. This is just in terms of my nation, which very much sees itself, and not every tribal community sees themselves this way, as uh, different from the United States. When you think about oral studies that you know that are passed down in different uh, departments, you know the, how you you know interview people and, and record those those life histories. Well, tribal people used to do that way long ago. You know we have these thousands of year histories passed down just through oral th uh, transmission and passed down. You know not only the same words but the same uh, goals and, and intentions to pass on the knowledge that needs to be learned and it and it trend it. It transforms over generations because the environment transforms. What we had hoped to accomplish through the event was kind of opening up the conversation about the need for an Native American Studies Department here at the Claremont Colleges, why it's important, and also logistically, what do departments and programs like that from surrounding areas like UCLA and UCI, what do those look like, and how can those serve as potential models for the Claremont Colleges to um, use as examples if you build a program here. I think part of what we're um, concerned about as scholars who are involved in sort of interdisciplinary fields or certainly in gender studies, <coughs> specifically interdisciplinary program, is that when you're faculty, when you're graduate students, when you're the body that is inhabiting these spaces, you often get torn up and divided up into lots of little pieces. So that's where having one concentrated or two concentrated full-time positions supported by staff who are committed by, and the rest of our population is transitory. Our students, our grad students are coming and going. They're doing it right, right? So <laughs> we, um, we want to have a sense of permanence. When you create consistency, when you enter into a, a treaty, say, a, if you can call it a personal treaty, or a pact, you have to have that reciprocity. We started a petition going around last night, and we're going to um, put that in internet form so that it's more accessible to people. The Indigenous Student Alliance is calling for um, the hiring of two tenure track faculty positions, an office and meeting space for the department in the same building as the other ethnic studies departments, staff members for secretarial and community outreach work, and guaranteed annual funds that would sustain community programs. So if you are in support of that, and we hope that everyone here is, um, we encourage you to sign the petition. You can come to our events um, and fill out. We have these surveys that we go out afterwards so that we can kind of document um, student interest and then also write letters to Dean of Faculty and the President saying why you think that it's important that we have a Native American and Indigenous Studies Department.